Community shared agriculture establishes a sense of community and encourages biodiversity on the land, which basically means small farms producing a wide variety of crops. It's an innovative way to grow food. Our Community Shared Agriculture Program is, a, is an alternative program, really, that enables organic farmers to, be, to continue to farm. Uh, it's alternative in various ways. Uh, people become members of the CSA, and by their membership they have a share in the harvest. Uh, and so we make a commitment to them that we will deliver for 20 weeks, in our case, uh, food. Uh, and, and they actually literally get a share of the harvest, so we just divide our harvest uh, that many ways. The community shared agriculture model brings the community component of agriculture back to a scale where members are not only connected to the farm, but have a relationship with the farm and its growing practices. One of the aspects of CSA is diversity and ecological diversity obviously is a big portion of that. And so on our fields, our vegetable fields, we actually have over 60 different crops. On various parts of the property, they have cover crops, which just might be the hardest working plants they'll ever grow. Also known as green manure, cover crops suppress weeds, build productive soil, and help control pests and disease. They'll grow on you because they're easy to plant and only need basic care to thrive. We have our field divided into um, different blocks where we grow certain types of plants. So right here behind me, this, this is a nightshade area, and so there's tomatoes and peppers and eggplants. But we make sure those groupings of plants are going to move somewhere else in the field later. Moving crops around on a farm mimics ecological diversity. The idea is to create a natural ecosystem where there are lots of different things growing together. our job, we get to eat vegetables all day long. The goal of organic agriculture, any agriculture I suppose, is to produce amazing food. And so the way that we rotate our crops helps to bring nutrients up from different levels, right? Because if you have the same crop growing in the same area, you're going to keep on drawing on the same types of nutrients that that crop is in high demand for. By moving things around, you're accessing different layers in the soil and different <laughs> strata in this direction as well. And then the other thing that you're doing is you're confusing the pests and the diseases, right? So, um, because often those are soil borne and so you need to move, um, move the crops around so that you don't build up a certain type of disease. I think it's important to know where we get our fruit from. It's, uh, it's like our main source of energy and what's what we live on so it's pretty important to know where we get it from and what kind of impact it has uh, on our environment and I think growing organic is important just it's a low impact and sustainable. Certainly have concerns around uh, the use of pesticides and, and herbicides in agriculture. In terms of why I get it here I think it's important to support the local economy um, as well as a lot of the environmental benefits of buying organic food that's been grown across the world is lost when you're trucking it across, across country. And there's just also the matter of freshness. Growing food this way is good, but the model of community shared agriculture is even tastier. That's probably why more and more people are saying, sign me up. Successful farms make important contributions to the health and vibrancy of both rural and urban communities. CSAs are growing in popularity. In Ontario, Canada, for example, there are over 200 to choose from. 